Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a hair tutorial, which I don't do too many of because I have four hairs on my head. <laughs> So I am just doing this really like easy it girl, cool girl, wave, whatever you want to call it. I used uh, my natural wave in my hair and just kind of added to it. So if you would like to know how I got this style, then just keep watching. So for this look, I am starting out with clean air dried hair. And uh, thanks to Forever 21 for this shirt. It's such a mood. I'm going to be taking Uwe's Wave Spray and spraying this into my dry hair. This is going to be in conjunction with a diffuser so that I can bring out my natural wave just a little bit more. So I take it from the bottom of my hair and scoop it up to the base of my head. And I do this kind of all around and to get a little extra volume at the root, just kind of scoop and lift onto the top of your head, which you'll see me do right here. For the settings on my blow dryer, I am using low heat and low power. You don't want it to be too high of power or else it'll blow your hair all around and create a ton of frizz. Oh, if you guys have not tried this, it smells heavenly. So taking a claw clip, I am going to divide my hair into two sections. If you have more hair, you might want to divide into three sections or more. I just don't have a lot of hair, so I just split it in half. So starting out with my Numi wand, this is the 32 millimeter, the biggest size of the classic wand. I'm taking about one inch of a section of hair and I am wrapping this away from my face, leaving about two to three inches at the bottom straight. I feel like leaving the ends a little straighter creates a little bit more of that effortless just rolled out of bed kind of look. And then as you can see I just kind of pull on the hair once I release it from the wand just so that it can cool. Now going the other way this is going to make it so that all the curls don't bunch together and as you can see I'm not doing every single strand. I'm just kind of picking and choosing random sections and then just alternating the curl pattern. Keeping with the same theme, I am curling away from my face for the first piece, leaving some out, and then pulling it taut, and then alternating the next curl, and then just kind of picking pieces randomly, and then I let everything down, and now we do the front. So I'm taking another one inch section, and I make sure I start about halfway down the strand, and again, leave out a section at the bottom. This just makes it so that the piece isn't too super curly right around my face. And then I pull it to loosen the curl to make sure that it's not too tight. And again for the other side, another one inch section and curling away from the face starting midway down the strand. So you should have something a little bit like this. So go ahead and just shake everything out and this will prep it for texture spray. So for the texture spray today, I'm going to be using the Verb C Texture Spray. And this is really lightweight and it adds a little bit of grit and grip to your hair. So I just sprayed this generously throughout and just kind of shook it in and just kind of played with it until I felt like I had the right vibe kind of going on. Now I'm going to be taking Verb's Strong Hairspray and I am spraying this on the top of my head because I have 
baby hairs everywhere. So I'm using a little tiny like spoolie brush and just kind of very gently combing those down so that I don't take the volume out of my hair, but I just kind of blend those in with everything else. And that's it. This is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.